The Girl and the Wolf. Words by Katharina Vermet. Pictures by Julia Flett. The girl ran through the bush while her mother picked berries. She was helping, but mostly running. Don't go too far, her mother called. It's going to be dark soon. Okay, the girl said, but kept running. Suddenly, the girl looked up and couldn't see her mother anymore. She panicked and looked one way, but didn't see her. She tried to calm down and looked the other way, but still couldn't see her. Everything got quiet and dark. The girl felt cold and scared. She didn't know what to do. Out from between the trees, a tall grey wolf with big white teeth appeared. The girl was very still. What are you doing out here by yourself? asked the wolf. I lost my mother, she said. I can't see my way back. You must be scared, little one, said the wolf in a quiet voice. Yes, I am, the girl told him. Do you know the way back? he asked. The girl shook her head. The wolf came up close and sniffed her. His wolf breath was hot and stank of meat. I think I know where you come from, little one, said the wolf. But it is almost dark. You must be hungry. Yes, I am. The girl nodded and her stomach rumbled. Do you know how to hunt? asked the wolf. The girl shook her head. What are you going to do? asked the wolf. The girl looked around. Everything was quieter and darker. The girl felt very cold and very scared. I don't know, she said sadly. Yes, you do, the wolf told her. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, then look. What do you see? The girl did what he said, and when she opened her eyes, she saw something that made her feel better. I can eat those berries, they are safe to eat. The ones by the stream where the water is safe to drink, she pointed. That's good, little one said the wolf. Let's go. The girl drank in gulps and ate two handfuls of berries. Now what are you going to do? asked the wolf. The girl looked around. Everything was still quiet and pretty dark. I don't know, she said sadly. Yes, you do, the wolf told her. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, then look. What do you see? The girl did what he said, and when she opened her eyes, she saw something that made her feel better. The skinny trees over there, that's where we camped, the girl said with a big grin. The grey wolf nodded and smiled at her with his big white teeth. The girl started walking, but was really running. She ran to the air that smelled like her family. She laughed out loud and looked to her side, but she did not see the grey wolf anywhere. She looked one way, but didn't see him. She looked the other way, but still couldn't see him. Just then, her mother appeared with her basket full of berries. Oh my girl, her mother cried. I told you not to go too far. Mama, I was lost and a wolf helped me, the girl told her. Her mother was surprised. A wolf? Yes, the girl said. He was big and grey. At first, I thought he was going to hurt me. Her mother smiled. Real wolves can hurt people, but I've heard old stories about wolves who help lost children too. The girl smiled. She was glad the wolf had been the helping kind. When they returned to their camp, the girl told everyone about her big adventure and her special wolf. That night, she tied tobacco in a red cloth and left it at the bush's edge because she didn't know a better way to say thank you.